If you've uh, watched my other videos, uh, you'll notice that I don't think like other people. And uh, you can only conclude one thing from that. They are all wrong. Uh, this is my concept for a really cheap solar system. Uh, outside I have uh, two 30-volt uh, grid tie panels in series. And so they produce about 30 volts at power point. And uh, grid tie panels, I, I pay like $120 for these panels. And uh, if you use 12-volt panels, uh, <laughs> you know, you'll just get the one panel for that and it'll be 100 watts. So uh, this is the way to go. And the other thing is, is that you don't really need to use all the power that the panels can produce because they'll produce a lot of power for two hours, but the rest of the day uh, you don't produce as much, and so you actually need a lot more panel to uh, power your electronics throughout the day. And so what I have here is a, a cheap PWM charge controller, and uh, I think this one cost me 350 from eBay, shipped from the United States, but you can get these for $5. And uh, this is a uh, 72 down to 12 volt uh, buck converter. Uh, these are rated at 15 amps. They're, you know, they're good for 7 or 8 amps, really. And uh, I modify these so that it keeps the panels at power point. And I also mod they're almost a pure 12 volt output. And you can't charge a battery with 12 volts. And so I modify the circuit a little bit to uh, produce 15.3 volts. But with this system, this is like really low cost, uh, you have a nice camp system. Now in addition to that, I have my uh, hot water heater. This is the controller, it doesn't cost that much to build. And so with two grid tie panels and uh, this electronics, which would cost you uh, way less than $50, uh, you can have hot water, and you can have uh, a fairly reliable system, even in low light levels. Uh, this is all you need. At, at my camp, I only have a 12-volt battery running everything. And I even have a dishwasher with heated dry. So, you don't have to have big batteries. The battery I use is from a car that I don't even bring with me. So, this is kind of like a concept system here. I know that I have a better chance of dying than someone actually building this, but uh, just want you to think about it. This is what it looks like inside one of these little buck converters. And, uh, you know, it's got a transistor, uh, rectifier, you know, the inductor. Not much to it. And you have a lot of space here for your other electronics if you want. And I think, you know, the last time I was buying these, they were like $4.50. They've probably gone up to like $5 now. Uh, one of the modifications is you go through and drill this little hole to break this trace. And you can put three, four, five diodes. This one has five diodes in it to get it up to that 15.3 volts. And, uh, you know, it's fairly easy to do that. And there's some other electronics uh, to keep it at power point. We keep it a power point by faking the regulator that the output voltage is too high, and so it shuts things down. But I, I've set it up so I have a range from 60 to 54 volts with this. That seems to work pretty good. And as you can see, it's uh, coming in at 15.27, and the output is like 14.91. Uh, all these I've seen just kind of read off a bunch, but uh, it works. And, you know, you have a, right here you have, you know, not much more than $10. And you get almost all the performance of an MPPT controller. So, you don't have to spend a lot of money. And you can have uh, a lot of the benefits. And... You know, this is a nice little system for a camp. It's really nice to have hot water. Uh, I have a uh, EcoSmart. It's a six gallon. It's a 1400 watt element. 
And that 1400 watt element works pretty good at uh, at 60 volts. That you get that gets you about 300 watts of heating, and it only takes like uh, 900 watts to raise at 60 degrees, six gallons. And they have two gallons and uh, four gallon tanks. And you know, if you have a small camp, it's nice to have some hot water. And so, uh, yeah, I want you to think about this system. Uh, I've explained how to do this in uh, some other videos, but uh, if someone's really interested, I can go through it again. This is just a concept system, but it seems to work great. And it's low cost, and it gets you the ability to use grid tie panels because, you know, 12 or 24 volt panels, you know, they've gone the way of the dinosaur. Uh, they're getting very expensive, you know. No one in solar uses 12 or 24 volt panels. And uh, that's why they're getting expensive. Uh, I, I've purchased panels in two states and I've always paid way less than 60 cents a watt for the, for the panels. And that was, you know, years ago. So All these uh, local installers, they're buying panels of the month and uh, they always have a few left over and they're happy to sell them for 120, 140 bucks and uh, that's a good deal for 260 watts but I'd suggest you use two panels and uh, that will give you you know 520 watts of potential power but here it is a rainy day and I'm still producing like 15 watts that's one amp to charge your battery uh, that, that's a big help so uh, Think about it. Thanks for watching.